Today is Monday, the 26th of June. Um, in the morning, we had the kickoff for the opening session for the 11th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation. Uh, we had the Minister for Water and Environment, the Permanent Secretary for Water and Environment, uh, senior officials from UNEP and IUCN, and uh, Claire Shakya from IID, and a number of other speakers. Uh, it went off very well. We then had a number of sessions, one on indigenous uh, knowledge and how to marry indigenous and scientific knowledge, and then one on uh, climate finance, which is always a very popular and interesting area, and one that we are always short of finance, and we have to think of ways in which we can enhance the flow of funds from the global to the national, and in particular to the very local level as well as the communities. In the evening, we had a, a dinner uh, hosted by the government of Uganda in their providing us with entertainment, which you might even hear in the background at the moment. Uh, we also did the launch of a new initiative called the Least Developed Countries Universities Consortium on Climate Change, or LUC for short. Uh, it was uh, launched by the chair of the LDC group, uh, Gebru Jember Endelau, who is here from Ethiopia. Um, and it's an initiative that the Least Developed Countries themselves have done under his chairmanship to bring all 48 Least Developed Countries together in a capacity building development uh, to address Article 11 of the Paris Agreement, which is on developing long-term in-country capacity, using universities as the vehicles for doing that. So we formed a consortium of 10 universities to start with, from 10 least developed countries. It's led by my center in Bangladesh, the Independent University, together with Makarere University here in Uganda. And then we have another eight universities in different parts of Asia and Africa, who will then, in turn, a link up with the other universities in other LDCs so that eventually we are able to engage with all 48 countries, uh, at least one university, probably many more than one university per country, to develop their capacity, to develop long-term capacity building programs to tackle climate change. Primarily adaptation, primarily community-based adaptation, but also on other aspects of climate change, including mitigation. So we're looking forward to this new South-South initiative and we're looking for partners to who, who want to engage with us, and you're most welcome to find out more about it by contacting uh, myself.